Hello everyone, this is Carolina with Ruchly.com. Today is Labor Day and to celebrate the holiday, I am doing an awesome, perfect pairing today. This is a W.L. Weller, 12 year old. Look at it right here. As you can tell, it's almost halfway down. I've been drinking this this week and I love this whiskey so far. It's awesome and I'm going to be pairing it up with the Island Gym made by Oscar Valladares in his factory in Honduras. It's the same uh, factory that makes the leaf by Oscar. So um, this is very interesting. It's got a really cool shape to it. According to Jim Robertson, uh, they were experimenting with different shapes and then they came out with this shape. Uh, he said it just like, it was kind of like a uh, number two pencil. So that's why it's called the number two. So um, I was lucky enough to talk to Oscar Valladares earlier today. Had a little chat with him, it was pretty cool. He told me a little bit about the cigar. The blend is very unknown and I'm gonna tell you in a minute why it's unknown. Um, but I asked him, why is that this already caught? It comes caught already, if you can see it right there. So he said, well, you can actually smoke it as it is but it will be a little tight. And I can tell it will be a little tight. So he recommends that I cut it right in the middle of the Connecticut um, strip wrapper right here. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just cut it right there in the middle as he suggested. Perfect. So before I light this up, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my bourbon that I'm gonna be drinking today. So this is the um, W.L. Weller, it's uh, aged 12 years. Uh, it's made at the Buffalo Trace Distillery in Frankfort, Kentucky. This one is a 90 proof whiskey or, or bourbon. And something very interesting, you know, um, Pappy Van Winkle, the Van Winkle um, bourbons out there, you can't get them anymore. It's, it's almost impossible or impossible to get anymore. So this is a good, uh, good alternative to it. Um, Pretty much, Weller, not pretty much, it is. Weller and Pappy Van Winkle, they're made at the same place. They use the same barrels. So there's really no difference between the WL Weller 12 and a young Van Winkle. There's absolutely no difference. They're made in the same barrels. They use the same um, weeded mash, which means they use um, corn, and wheat and not rye. Uh, rye is what gives it that the spiciness, but uh, was the, the, the Van Winkle is known for not having any spiciness into it. It's just known for having that good balance in between those uh, caramel, vanilla, orange, cocoa flavors in it. So it makes a great balanced bourbon and that's exactly what it is, um, what the weather is. Um, it's just the only difference is somebody at uh, the Van Winkle family said, okay, this makes it into Van Winkle and this makes it into Weller. There's really absolutely no difference. I had actually the Van Winkle 12 before and if you put, if you give me a blind test and you give me this and you give me a Van Winkle 12, I will never tell the difference. It's the same exact thing. So at first, and the nose, you get kind of like an orange peel, caramel, little vanilla notes in there. Oh, and that definitely carries into the palette with the caramel, cocoa notes. It's got a very long finish of the cocoa. Oh. This is super awesome. You don't need to mix this with anything or cut it down with ice or water or anything. This is just perfect as it is. So I'm gonna get right into my cigar over here. Let's get this lit up, shall we? It's got the shaggy and finish foot here. It's pretty cool. Let's get this toasted. So yeah, I was talking to Oscar. He was such a cool guy. It was just, um, it was nice talking to him. He told me a little bit about the cigar and how the blend is unknown. If you go and you Google it, you can't really find anything about it. And it's on purpose, he said. Mm. 
perfect burn right there. So the Island Gem, again made uh, the Oscar Valladares factory in Honduras. Um, this doesn't really have any specifications. I don't know what this is. Uh, it's a very leathery, silky, dark wrapper. Um, maybe, um, maybe a San Andres Mexican wrapper. I don't know, <laughs> maybe. So the reason why they don't disclose what the, the blend is, is because they want you to figure it out. They are planning into doing a contest. So if you can figure out what the tobacco, um, the, what the blend is, if you can figure it out and guess it, you can win a trip to their factory in Honduras and go and visit the tobacco farms it's going to be a trip that you're going to win with everything paid airfare accommodations meals everything the whole nine yards so pretty cool so what oscar told me earlier today was that they're going to release their um website which is the leaf by oscar.com website so make sure that in a couple of weeks just keep going right now if you go in there it says it's on construction but he said in a couple of weeks from today and today's labor day so mark that date keep looking at it and smoke some of this and see if you can figure out what the blend is so pretty cool right now initially what I get is like um actually it's it's kind of weird because this has like cocoa powder in it and it just carries in this as well this guy's like a cocoa leathery and woody taste to it maybe like a white pepper finish hmm really enjoyable it's got a little sweetness in there creamy smoke definitely in there Mm. this is a six and a quarter by 52 um, so it's pretty cool smoke definitely don't cut it below that or over that tip just right there like he suggested I think it's perfect right there you can get a good draw good flavors out of it really awesome and then with my Weller 12 it just makes a perfect pairing I think the um, perfect pairing right here is that you get cocoa powder in both of them that's exactly why this makes a perfect pairing right there mm -hmm. so the Weller 12 is really not hard to find I got this one uh, with my hookup uh, Wally Slickers he said hey I have a bottle of this have you seen it I'm like of course I've seen it where is it at it's like you can't get it it's not an expensive bourbon it actually goes uh, from anywhere from $30 to $90 and so I got it from him and then I was at ABC liquors the other day or ABC yeah the liquor store and then I saw one just sitting right there on the shelf I'm like hey there it is so you can definitely get it it's not hard to find at all and the island gym it's out there my friends just go get one and participate on their contest so you can go to Honduras on them on the house Jim Robertson is on the ban of the cigar look at him with the hat that's why I'm wearing this <laughs> so all right my friends so give this a try this two are definitely not hard to try if you're trying to get your hands on the Van Winkle you can't find it unfortunately but no worries you can always get this one at your liquor store and it's just the same thing there's absolutely no difference it's a perfect pairing with this mm -hmm. all right so here you have it I just want to send a quick shout out to Oscar he was super cool today to talk to me and just tell me all this uh, stuff that they're coming up with in the contest so make sure you keep your eye on that and stay smoky and celebrate your Labor Day weekend like I am.